What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel. Guys, today we are watching the um, UN speech they did um, f with the like uh, UNICEF campaign, Love Yourself is it called, I believe. And um, I've, I've seen a few tiny bits from it because uh, in some introduction videos or some other, I don't know, little clips, um, they were uh, a, f a few seconds of it. Um, so I'm excited to see what they had to say. And uh, to learn more about the Love Yourself campaign from um, UNICEF and uh, BTS, this one should have subtitles, I believe. So um, let's see that, guys. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that because it is really a good thing. And they are the first K-pop group that was allowed or had like the honor to speak um, in front of the United Nations. So that is a lot, actually. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, UNICEF Executive Director and all the excellencies and distinguished guests from across the world. Damn, he's having an American accent right there, okay. My name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM, the leader of the group BTS. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. Damn, I don't know why, but I'm getting goosebumps right now, guys. Just to think about how far they've, they've come, what they've achieved, and they all look so proud to, I don't know, make the world a better place and be able to like do something like that right now. I'm also proud of them. Last November, BTS launched the Love Myself campaign with UNICEF. Yeah. Building on our belief that true love first begins with loving myself. That's so We're true. We're partnering with UNICEF's End Violence program to protect children and young people all over the world from violence. And our fans have become a major part of this campaign with their action and with their enthusiasm. We truly have the best fans in the world. Oh, the way he smiled after saying that. It's true, it's true guys. I'm pretty new to the fan base. I'm a new army, I know, but even I can feel that. And I'd like to begin by talking about myself. I was born in Ilsan, a city near Seoul, South Korea. It is a really beautiful place with a lake, hills, and even an annual flower festival. I spent a very happy childhood there, and I was just an ordinary boy. I used to look up at the night nice sky and wonder, and I used to dream the dreams of a boy. I used to imagine- He's so good at speaking in public. It's crazy. Imagine that I was a superhero who could save the world. And in an intro to one of our early albums, there is a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and true. starting seeing that's myself through their eyes. That's true. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars, I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. Damn, that's such a true statement. That is why everybody really wants to keep a little, a little piece of their childhood in their heart, or that is why I don't think it's a, the best idea to be like not childish anymore or to not goof around because once you like grow out of that mindset. We have all the problems, all the negativity and all the stuff in your head that you makes that makes you always wonder like or makes you always worry that maybe you have so much to do or what is like this person in front of me thinking about me right now? May I look weird to them? But all that stuff doesn't even matter. I don't know. Today's society is a bit weird. Soon, I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others. No one called out my name, and neither did I. My heart stopped and my eyes closed shut. So, like this, I, we, all lost our names. We became like ghosts. 
but I had one century and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up man and listen to yourself. But it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. And sometimes I just wanted to quit. But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. And I'm sure that I and we will keep stumbling and falling like this. BTS has become artists performing in those huge stadiums and selling millions of albums right now. But I am still an ordinary 24 year old guy. He's the same. He, he hasn't changed because of all what they and he achieved. Mm, you can see that. Anything that I've achieved, it was only possible that I have my other BTS members right by my side. And because of the love and the support that our army fans all over the world made for us. And maybe I made a mistake yesterday. But yesterday's me is still me. Oh, that's so true. Today, I am who I am with all of my faults and my mistakes. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser, and that would be me too. These Damn. faults... Such a great message and such a great statement. Everybody has, like, imperfect sides, so everybody has things that they don't like that all the others might don't like about them nobody's perfect Hannah Montana told you <laughs> no but for real um, we all have mistakes inside us and we all have mistakes that we've made but that doesn't mean that we are like that we cannot be happy anymore or we, that we cannot be um, that you cannot be a good person anymore because of that Damn, it's, it, it's such a good speech so far. And mistakes are what I am, making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. I have come to love myself for who I am. It's hard to do that, who I was, actually. And for who I hope to become. I like to say the one last thing. After releasing our Love Yourself albums and launching the Love Myself campaign, we started to hear remarkable stories from our fans all over the world, how our message helped them overcome their hardships in life and start loving themselves. Those stories constantly remind us of our responsibility. So let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. I like to ask all of you, what is your name? What excites you and makes your heart beat? Tell me your story. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your conviction. No matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. I'm Kim Nam Jun and also RM of BTS. I'm an idol and I'm an artist from a small town in Korea. Like most people, I've made many and plenty mistakes in my life. I have many faults and I have many more fears, but I'm gonna embrace myself as hard as I can and I'm starting to love myself gradually, just little by little. Damn. What is your name? Speak yourself. Thank you very much. Damn, that was really good.
like, so first of all, Namjoon is like one of the best speakers, even speaking in a foreign language that I've seen ever, probably, I don't know. Even though it was uh, written down, he's just so good at making the right pauses and um, the pronunciation even was really good. Um, so that first of all, but what a great message. The end, what is your name? Speak yourself. That is such a great message. Like, be who you are. Be who you are. That is like the ultimate message for a happy life, I believe. When you are truly yourself, when you are not... I don't know. When you are just doing the things you like to do, even though other people think might it's weird, might, might think it is weird, um, or might, I don't know, call you out for, for stupid things. Just be yourself and then it wouldn't affect you anymore if you're truly yourself. Same with me, like, I started YouTube three years ago on my German channel and I thought that people might laugh because they think I would never made it or I don't know, just for stupid reasons, they might laugh. Um, but I just did it. I just did it. And now that is my job. Now it's my job. Now, like, I, I don't need to go to work. I'm working from home. Like, and not even then, not just that. I've met so many people. I, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. Just because for that little moment, I thought, I don't care what they're saying. Let's just be myself. And I was, I am. And that is why I'm here right now, so... As, like, I don't know, as RM said in the speech, just be yourself, speak yourself, and um, stand for your own rights. Th that was just unbelievably good. Koreans searching for subtitles now. <laughs> true, true guys. Okay, that was it. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, hope your day is just going great. And if not, then um, just watch a few other videos of mine or just, I don't know, listen to some BTS and hopefully the next day um, will be a lot better than today. That was it. See you soon with the next video. Bye, guys. And... Uh